Hello, my name's Daniel, and today what I'm going to do is take this dead Morris lizard and just cut it open and have a look inside it and identify the major organs as far as we can. Just basically to show how easy it is, so if you've got one and it's died and you don't know why it's died, you could just have a look inside it and see if it looks normal or not, once we know what normal is. So, first thing we're going to do with this lizard is, it died... I don't know how long ago, actually it's been frozen and it's been kind of half frozen for the last week. So it doesn't smell great. So first of all we're going to measure its snout bent length and that is from there to there. It doesn't have to be dead on, you don't need any fancy equipment. We call that 49 centimetres and then we're going to measure its tail. Which goes from the vent right down to the bottom of there. And that's about 74. So that makes it what? About 1.2. We weighed it already, it weighs 3 kilos. What else can we say about it? We want to measure the tail base circumference because monitor lizards, as well as having these great big hemipenes and often quite big hemiclitoris inside here, they also store a lot of fat in the tail and it can be quite useful. That is 16.5. 16.5. Okay, what do we need to cut open this lizard? What we need is it's actually cut open already, I didn't know that. But. So we'll have a pair of scissors. That's nice. Probably just the scissors for this one. We've got some. These ones are very dangerous, we only use these when we really, really have to. And gloves help, it's a shame they're not insulated. If I, uh, let's just see how frozen this is inside. It's not that frozen. It's not that bad. So, if it was um, intact, then what we'd do is we'd just cut away there until that way and some cut it all the way down. Once you've got a hole in this, it's much easier. Use a pair of scissors. Yeah, this lizard is slightly frozen. But no matter. So you just cut clean up through there. Try not to break anything. We don't need to go this far up, but what the hell. It'll make it easier for later on. And then we cut him. Try not to cut into anything here, we're just trying to cut away the uh, tissue. Oh dear. Just basically trying to get it as open up as we possibly can. So we also push it down there a bit. This is very dry, I mean, you you probably quite often find these things a lot wetter than this. Okay, let's do the same with this side, and then we can... This is a bit of a mess in here. Make a handbag after this one, I'm going to be the right pig's ear of it. No matter, it's more or less open. What can we see? Lord of mercy, there's a lot of fat. Do you see all that fat? Now, in lots of places, this is considered really, really good for cooking. These ones weigh 20 grams, I've checked them already. What was it, 21? I'd better check again. So, one piece of that. It's all quite frozen in it. Which I was probably grateful for. Lord have mercy. Who ate all the pies? 
is an expression in the north of England, I think it comes from a football player who played for what later became Manchester United and he, he was quite tubby so they used to shout, who ate all the pies, who ate all the pies and the response was, you fat bugger, you fat bugger, you ate all the pies. Which hasn't got much to do with anything so we'll just take all the fat out. Oh there's more fat stuck to the... <sighs> You might prefer not to use your fingers for stuff like this. Goodness, there's not much left, is there now? We've taken all the fat out. And that is basically the body cavity. Strips of fat. Everything else is quite frozen. In there. Ooh, you know what those are. Oh, it's quite frozen there. It's not easy. You should really see everything. Oh, yeah. Okay, what we might do is leave this to thaw out for a bit, but for now let's look at the fat. Put it that way around and you can see it. Twenty-four, that's what they weigh. Only. Four hundred and thirty-four grams of fat. So the lizard weighs two point three kilos and it's got nearly half a kilo of fat in it. So that kind of almost makes it a quarter fat, doesn't it? Or a fifth fat, or something like that. That's an awful lot of fat for one lizard, and obviously it's accumulated that over time. It's in there, kind of these great big lobes. It's quite whitish. The wild, in comparison, wild animals I see of the uh, Varanus exanthematicus, which is one I've cut up quite a lot. I've cut up Biowak as well, but. They've been much smaller than this animal, a little forest biowak in the Philippines, Marmaratus it's called. They don't have, the fat's negligible, the fat is negligible in them. So we've missed a bit, can you believe it, let's weigh it again. So we can really be sure how much fat there is in this thing. Sixty grams. That's it, 437. I've dropped my king pencil again. That is 437. 437 grams of fat. And even though it's frozen, half frozen, it's really greasy. Now let's have a look at this fat. Because In a lot of monist lizards, you'd get, um, you'd expect three, four percent fat, kind of maximum, if, if, if they're ready for a rainy season. Um, it tends to be yellow when it's well stored, and apparently when it's um, being metabolised, it turns white. This is all white, pretty much. This isn't at all the rich yellow that you get in a. And essentially, there's two fat bodies. In a lizard, I always find two and an extra little tiny bit when I cut them open. This looks like two, doesn't it? More or less. We'll just weigh them separately and just see if we can. Maybe this is a single fat body and this one's a disintegrated one. 
believe how greasy all this is. Oh dear, we've turned it to ounces, we don't want them right. There we go. Yeah, one fat body, 231. So yeah, it is. It is. That's one fat body, that's the other fat body. In pieces. They're huge. They're absolutely huge. They've got blood vessels going through them. This is something nasty's happened here. Yeah. Awful lot of fat in that lizard. Yes, it looks in good condition, didn't it, when we started? I'm saying it, it, this this one's in good condition. For a capsule, it's not like one of them big fat ones that you see. So imagine if it had been a big fat one, how much more fat there would have been in it. There you go. Thank you.